Today's show for Region 12 Studios is on the Career and College Center. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the programs and services that are offered by the Career and College Center. And today I'm joined with, uh, with me is Mr. McManus, our Career and College Coordinator, um, who's been serving the position for the last um, one and a half years. Um, Mr. McManus, can you talk a little bit about the programs, field trips, and workshops um, that you've offered over the last year and a half? Certainly. Um, well, this past year we took about 30 juniors to the National College Fair up in Hartford. Oh, great. Um, it was a wonderful experience for the students because they were able to see so many different colleges. There were so many we actually had to have them map out their routes because I want to say it was around 200 to 300 colleges and universities that were there. Excellent. So it was a definite good day for students and I, we're definitely going to run it this coming year as well. Mm -hmm. Was that the first year that you've done the National College Fair in Hartford? Yeah, definitely oh, it was the first year, but I think it's because of the overwhelming positive feedback mm -hmm. from the students, we're going to continue with that one. Okay. What other field trips? Give me another example of a field trip that you've offered. Um, well, we have a lot of college representatives come to the school. Okay. Um, usually I try to ask juniors and seniors what colleges they want to attend. Mm -hmm. um, I reach out to the different schools and have a representative come and talk to the students. This past fall, we had uh, 100 schools, different schools from wow. around the country come visit. Excellent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and this year, we're up to about 70. I'm mm -hmm. trying to more, make a more tailored list to what the students are actually looking for. Right. Um, so, so far this year, it's been a really positive experience for students as well. That's really a, a nice um, uh, value for kids at Chipotle, to be able to have the admission reps from around come into their school. Oh, and meet with yeah. them on a one-to-one -one basis or in small group setting to learn more about the colleges. Oh, definitely. Great. And I know last year you took a field trip to campus. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your field sure. trip? Sure. Um, uh, we took about 25 students to Naugatuck Valley Community uh -huh. College. Okay. Um, they basically were able to, to take a, a tour, but in the beginning, they learned the various aspects of applying to the school, financial aid. Mm -hmm. Uh, transcripts, stuff like that. Yep. And they were able to take different tour the different uh, build parts of the facility, uh, the you know, automotive, um, the agriculture, and they ended up at the hospitality open management, where the students, culinary students, were working, where they actually were able to try various foods. And so the students really enjoyed that part. But yeah, that's my favorite part as well. Um, and I know two years ago we I went with you and we got to um, you know sample some of the wares. Definitely. And actually, some of the chefs were. Uh, former Chappelle graduates, so that was really uh, great for me to see them, yeah. you know, working behind the scenes, uh, making some delicious things that everyone got to try. Oh, definitely, so yeah, great. it's nice to see. Um, in terms of programming, can you give us a couple examples of programs that have been offered through the Career and College Center? Programs, we have the College Admission Panel. Mm -hmm. We host it every year. Um, it's a panel of five different uh, representatives from area schools uh, where they get to talk about different aspects of the college admission process. Yeah. Okay. So we have led this past year. We had Yale, yeah. Sacred Heart, um, I want UMass Amherst, Springfield College, and Northwest Connecticut Community College. Great. So st students were able to ask questions, and um, the different reps answered according to their own institutions, mm -hmm. of course. But it was a really positive experience overall. Awesome. And I know one of the other big programs that have been in place for a long time is the Junior Job Shuttle Program. Can you talk a little bit about what that is and, and maybe what um, you saw last year as some positive takeaways and your hopes for this year with Junior Job Shuttle? Oh, definitely. Jo the Junior Job Shuttle is a wonderful program for students because it gets them to a day in the life of whatever they choose. Mm -hmm. If they're interested in art, they can shadow an artist for the day. Or if they're interested in the medical profession, they could talk to various people in that sense. Um, so it's really nice to see students get to go out and see what they like. And if they're interested in it, they try it out, they come back, and they're not keen on it. They know, okay, this won't work for me in the future. Then they have a better sense of what they want to do for senior year going into college. Right. And I think, you know, that real life experience of the junior job shadow, there's no other way to really rec recreate that. You know, you can read a book, you can see online. But you don't get the same experience as when you go and see someone at their job site and really find out what they do. Oh, sometimes it's yeah. more exciting and sometimes it's not as exciting yeah, um, exactly. when you're actually on site. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. You can't replace it. And now you and I have worked together on a number of workshops. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of the workshops that you've offered or upcoming workshops um, that are available to students? Well, last year we did a college essay writing workshop, mm -hmm. um, which was went over really well. Uh, for seniors. We also did a common application and an Aviance workshop as well. 
this year we're going to continue um, this the 20 I want to say the 23rd of this month we'll be going into the senior classes yeah. to do another college essay writing workshop um, and we'll also be running a towards the end of the month another common app and Naviance workshop as well great and I know you know from talking to students and being involved in those workshops you know students really get a lot of value from those experiences learning more how to manage the common app or the essay writing and I've you know really felt like students have said that they have gotten less anxiety after I'm going through that because it helps them navigate the process um, of, of, which can sometimes be daunting and confusing. Oh absolutely yeah it's a applying to college is a big process. Right. Well it's been a great year and a half Mike and I you know I really appreciate you here at our school um, you really added a lot to our program and oh, thank um, you. you know I think we're going to invite a couple students in to talk about their perspective next. Sounds good. All right. As a continuation of our Career in College show, uh, we've invited two students to join us today. Um, on my right is Brenda Gutierrez, and next to her is Bridget um, Snyder, and next to her, again, is Mr. McManus, our Career in College coordinator. Um, we're going to ask students to talk a little bit about their experience with um, programs that were connected to the Career in College um, Center over the last uh, couple of years. Okay, so I know I was talking to several students, but Brenda, you said you had a really positive experience with Junior Job Shuttle last year. What was it like for you? Um, it was very exciting. Um, I was given the opportunity to job shadow at J.P. Morgan in New York City, and um, it just gave me a good outlook as to um, what to expect. I was able to talk to not just the person that I job shadowed, but people in the department and I got one-on-one. -on -one. I got um, to sit in on a phone call. I got to go into one of the meetings, and I even got like stuff to take home. So I wasn't. I can't bring it because like they can't put it on social media and stuff. But it was like really cool. And then they talked me through it, and they were all very impressed by what I like already knew from like math and business classes. And it was just like a very positive, like what to expect, and then how to get there if I wanted to, like ever work there. Um. So it sounds like you had a really positive, really good day. Yeah, it was very fun. <laughs> and how did that help you with your future plans? Like, how has it helped you think about what you might do next? Um, so at first I wanted to be a doctor, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to go into business. Mm -hmm. So after following him, like, from day one, from, like, 4 a.m. until, like, we got home at uh, 8 o'clock because I took the train with him, um, it made me realize that, while I really do like finance and all of that, I don't think I could sit in an office for the entire day. Mm -hmm. So it made me realize that maybe that's not something I would want to do for the rest of my life, but it's definitely an option. Okay, great. And um, a thought maybe for underclassmen as they come up. You know, Junior Job Shadow has been in place for years at Chapog. I'm really excited that we offer that program. But things that you might suggest to um, you know, younger students? Um, I would suggest that you pick something that you're definitely interested in. That way you can see if that's the route you want to take. Mm -hmm. And then you realize that that's not the route, you still have time to like pick a different like career or look into something else. Like if you realize that, you definitely don't want to do that. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brenda. That was really yeah. nice. <laughs> um, Bridget, you, last year you came up to me in the hallway after our career and college uh, admission panel. And you mentioned that it was a worthwhile experience. And um, you know, I just was interested in having you share some of your thoughts as takeaways. So if you think back to that um, event last year and things that you thought were helpful, things that students might you know, look forward to seeing um, when we do that in the future. Well, the um, admissions panel definitely gave us a good insight into what college actually like. It made you think of things that you really wouldn't think of when applying, like um, if whether they have dorms for you how many years you have to live in the dorm mm -hmm. or you have to get your own house. Right, okay. Great. Other takeaways that you heard from, because you know, I think there were we had five panelists last uh, year, mm -hmm. five panelists from a, a variety of different schools that spoke. It helped you know um, their standards, what mm -hmm. schools you could apply to, what if you want to get into a school, what grades you have to keep, SAT scores that they recommend. Yeah, okay. Great. Um, and, uh, you know, I know last year we in encourage the eighth graders so you were an eighth grader last year this year a freshman <laughs> and so the year before we had not invited the um, eighth graders and do you think it was something that, you know if we do this again to have the eighth graders come do you think it was worthwhile for you as an eighth grader 
Yes, I was a little nervous at first because mm -hmm. I was I went to have my advisory, obviously, yeah. but. I think it was definitely a worthwhile experience. It made you think a little bit, so you have to do a little planning. Mm -hmm. And I do think that is a positive thing, especially for young kids. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Ladies, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time today and your thoughts. Mr. McManus? All right, that wraps up our show for today on the Career and College Center. Um, I want to say thanks to the students for offering their insights. I hope that you gained some um, valuable information about our Career and College Center, both about the programs, the field trips, and the workshops that are offered, and that you see that it's value added for our students. Thanks again for watching.